Battlefield 1. In this game era, I, I pretty much enjoyed it taking place in World War 1 for the first time I played. I could have choose a uh, Verdun, but I also like to drive tanks and other vehicles like how they do in Battlefield games. Well, pretty much uh, I do have some skills uh, to play the online version, but the, the campaign, like, it was amazing how they tell the war stories. Don't know about the characters that are either fictional or real. Not sure about it, but anyway, it was epic. We have lost objective Charlie. And pretty much I could do uh, what I like to destroy vehicles and kill players as well as use any gun but pretty much don't know why there's more like there's a lots of submachine guns instead of like usually using uh, bolt action rifles how they say in World War 1 and so uh, anyway I enjoyed the game to doing all that but there's parts I don't enjoy like getting killed a lot by your players sometimes once they get really aggressive And also, I upgrade the little rank up classes. Well, I also rank up for my character to, to achieve the ranks how they have in the military. And so, anyway, it's, it's just a complete challenge to me to fight against uh, players and all that. I sometimes have difficulties against others, but not all the time. Anyways, I'm able to. Uh, be there by as I'm saying Far Cry 5 In the beginning I was not into much more about stealth combat but until I do uh, pretty much I enjoy it to get uh, the safe zones uh, I don't know no, I mean the uh, like the outposts to liberate them, either saving hostages or just kill lots of cultist bad guys. And pretty much it's very satisfying of uh, liberating the outposts. What else I could do in this game of Far Cry 5 when I'm uh, like I finish the story and all that? Uh, I could do like do hunting, fishing, finding loot, or just kill many cultists that still exist parts of the game and also I could do some stunts and we'll see on the map no that's not it and as you see in the map I did lots of progress and what's this here? Oh, that. So you just uh, restart the outpost in the main menu if you want to. Just to do the fun of it, they'll liberate everywhere. As pretty much I see, I complete main outpost in this game. Pretty much I do a great job of saving the day. Yeah, it looks like I liberate everything. Well, pretty much I'm just gonna do some hunting uh, to gather the fur, everything else from animals, and selling fish when I catch them to vendors. Pretty much, I like this game how I can do that. And check this out. I can fly! And use the wingsuit. Yeah, all oh, barrel use parachute. They are safe and sound. Yeah, it happens. Everything is just fine. That's all. Red Dead Redemption Two. It's pretty much uh, I played uh, the first game on the PS3 uh, as well as uh, this game on the PS4 
I like the first Red Dead game, uh, being epic and awesome, especially being a cowboy and all that in a western theme game world. And as you see, uh, I got my character look awesome. And he happens to be John Marston. I'm not gonna tell you how of something that you gotta see for yourself the story. Pretty much the story is very impactful. It's all about how one character, uh, Arthur Morgan, as he makes redemptions. And so does John Marston makes redemptions. As the story is like epic as you play along. There's lots of missions in single player and all that. Even some uh, uh, side quests or side missions. But I like how the I like to play in the Western themed game to be a cowboy and shoot stuff. Just check this out. Bang 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 bing 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 bing. Yeah. And I like to ride on my horsey. Well, what else I can do in the game, everybody? Yeah, I like to play in single player or even do online. Pretty much, I like the online version of the game. As in Red Dead Online. I find a whole lot way better than how it, the one in the first game of Red Dead Redemption was. Pretty much on the PS3, uh, the Red Dead Redemption 1 game, it was absolutely trash. Because there's lots of glitches and lots of creepers. But in this version, in Red Dead Redemption 2, it's a whole lot different. At least they make a whole lot better on how they did it in this game. On this console, the PS4 and Xbox One and even the PC. But I'm not talking about any of those two platforms. I'm talking about how, about the ones I play on the PS4. But I'll sooner or later do for the PS3. No, that just hang on tight. Or later. Anyway, uh, on to the next one. Dying Light. In this game, everybody, I like to kill a bunch of zombies with everything. And check out this zombie right here. Bam! Well, bam! 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 And just like that. And look, there's another one. And bam! 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 Oh yeah. Never like uh, killing zombies in the morning. Watch out. Back down. Yeah. I beat the, the hell of these zombies right up. And as pretty much I could say about the game, everybody. I enjoy killing zombies, especially this game is part of parkour. And these weapons I use, like this, the old reliable uh, crowbar, or something else like using like a gun. Bam! Whoa! Oh, I got reload. Oh yeah! I need to use a different weapon. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and these runners, uh, they could be troublesome. I beat the living hell of them. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, they don't know who they're messing with. Pretty much this game uh, has two places. The, the slums, the old town, and it's the DLC map. The what, what was it? Oh yeah, the the countryside. Especially when you go to the following search tab in the main menu. And I gotta tell you, I enjoy playing this game, and you should too. There's lots of things you can collect all the, and saving uh, people or or uh, make up your own hideouts. By the way, at night, it gets very challenging. And I gotta tell you, it's, it's gonna be crazy at night. Just to, be, to warn you all, if you don't know. 
and pretty much this game tries to be much more realistic. The way the movements, all that, and you know, walk. There's another zombie. I'm gonna make another demonstration. Hey, she fell. Check out this dark machete. Yeah, killing zombies makes me feel good. Anyway, to the next one. Grand Theft Auto 5. In this game, everybody, is a game that I can do wherever I like. I can do lots of things that consider as crime in real life. So, one thing I like is to run over people in the game. But these people in Los Santos, they're nothing but soulless, gutless numbskulls. Wherever you like to call them, wherever. As I can do everything. I like to drive every vehicle I can possibly can. It, pretty much this game is great with that. I also like the online mode for this game. And I have to own lots of things like an apartment, like air vehicles, water vehicles, land vehicles, you name it. Even owning properties. What is this shit? Pretty much I can do all in this game. Start up, you piece of shit. Right here. Hey, hold on a second. They're like one of those stores where I could customize my my characters. As well as they, this game has uh, able to make videos uh, by going down the. Uh, you see here, uh, but to start record and turn on action replay. As with the uh, Rockstar editor. Pretty much, I can make lots of clips uh, when I play this game uh, to make my own movie, and I pretty much enjoy it. And now, on to the next one. Fallout 76. Here in this game, I pretty much like how I could do uh, many things in the game. There's like mini games. There's pretty much many events got to do with uh, like side missions, like or or quests. And pretty much they they live over the place. Even there's some there's like like miscellaneous quests. Pretty much you could do many things in the game. Or you could buy uh, people's stuff from their vending machines. In each of their camps, as you see here, I. Buy yeah, I can make my character look cool with this outfit. Yeah, check it out. And my backpack and flares and all that. As you see here, yeah, I built my pre-war uh, ha uh, house here. And check it out. I make it this good. All the hard-earned stuff. As well as you could do many things, as I said before. Like do building slaying monsters or do collecting stuff as you see yeah how much I collect uh, nuclear core quantums as you see here now uh, we're going to here here no that's the wrong thing check out my collection of nuclear core quantums ain't that fascinating pretty much you could design your your camp look like anything well, almost everything. Pretty much, I like this game how I can build stuff and survive and craft many things. As well as the, the guns are cool and all that. And like, check this out. And look at this here. All chrome. The minigun. Yeah, there's lots of things to do in the game. And despite this game been having a bunch of glitches on that, there are the ways how to trick the game or surprise the game. Or even there's such thing as duping or uh, there's also some bugs, but they get patched out time to time. Anyway, 
Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Fallout 4. Here in this game, everybody, pretty much I claim this one being my number one favorite uh, Fallout game that I first begun playing this game to be my, my fall game. Then later I play Sony 6 and then after that the classic fall games for the PS3. It's pretty much I like to do lots of things in this game of Fall 4. Just look how I can build lots of things and do some crafting and kill monsters. As well access other places of the game where I, I continue the, the quest lines all the way towards Nuka World. It's pretty much great. And I also like to use these weapons of mass destruction. And do lots of collecting on that and stuff and like that. As well as I could do farming and all that to make the adhesives. Right me, Let me know if I can do pretty much, uh, I also do take care of some salmons. Uh, pretty much the workshops and all that. And let's see. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. I don't know why they have to be a problem and all that. Uh, it just makes no sense. Yeah. About that. Wait, what? Yes, yeah, sometimes the the workshops or summons, their numbers change time to time. Don't know why they keep causing this madness to happen. <sighs> well, always had to check them up and see if they are in order. Shop McCready. Anyway, so that's the things I could talk about this game everybody. Pretty much it's a good game. I play it and I like it. And do many things I want. Oh and nothing there's no Karma system in, in this game, just like the other uh, other fall games, like the number three and the uh, and the Vegas. And pretty much on to the next clip. Minecraft. In this game, everybody, how much I enjoy this game a lot. Back in uh, some time ago, uh, from the somewhere in the 2010s, all the way to somewhere in the, in the early of time of 2020, in, in this game, pretty much I like to build, survive, and do more building and change everything in my way. Well, just change the environment, how I do using the tools and all that within the game, like shovels, pickaxe, and uh, gardening tools. It's all I do here is just uh, gather all the materials and stuff to build up my my house and all that. As you see, uh, uh, I I can harvest any plants, anything else, just to gather materials on that to survive. That uh, yeah, that's pretty much. And so uh, I have lots of fun in this game and all that. And pretty much you you could enjoy it too as how much I did. Just to spend lots of time in Minecraft, I just like the peaceful theme music of of the game. That makes me calm. And pretty much, I just all I do here is just to harvest stuff and kill many animals for food and materials, and even the, the the mobs, the enemies of the game, mostly of the zombies, spiders, skeletons, and endermen and so much more. It's pretty much I enjoy a lot in this game. Just to build, survive and harvest. Making lots of progress. I even built so many creations on the 
the on creative mode. But in this one, I'm doing the the survival. And pretty much I I spent lots of time adventuring out and doing lots of things. Anyway, that's all, all about it, everybody. Hopefully you like this top 10 list of my favorite games on the PS4. And I'm going to do one for the PS3 soon. So, see ya.